what is going on guys? I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And I'm going to show you how you can screen mirror everything from your phone directly to your Samsung Smart TV. So with the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and Note 8 is both the same exact procedure to get your phone to screen mirror. It's super, super easy. I'm going to go ahead and screen mirror my Samsung Galaxy Note 9. This will be the first time I'm connecting to this Samsung Smart TV. And I'm going to show you guys some photos, some videos, web pages. And I'm also going to go ahead and play a graphic intensive game as well, okay? Alright, so first thing, go ahead and swipe down on your Note 8 or Note 9. And once you swipe down, you see the two little horizontal lines right here? Slide that down again. And then from here, what you want to do is you want to slide over to the right. Slide over to the right, and you can see right here where it says Smart View. They don't call it Screen Mirror anymore, it's, just, it's called Smart View. Tap on Smart View. Remember my first time doing it here. And now I get a list of available devices here. You can see the bottom here is the TV, that's the 55 inch Samsung Smart TV, which is mine. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that to connect. And now right away, you can see this message right there. Do you want to allow your Galaxy Note 9 to connect? I'm going to go ahead and click on allow. And you only have to do this once when you first screen mirror your um, Galaxy Note 9 onto your Samsung TV. So click on allow with the remote. Now it's connecting. And voila, we are already in business. Now another thing to take note to guys, this is a Wi-Fi direct connection, okay? So you don't need no Wi-Fi network or internet to connect. However, if you wanna play games that are online or view web pages that are online, then of course you would need a Wi-Fi network in your house or mobile data. But if you're just looking at photos and videos directly from your phone or you're playing games that don't need any kind of internet connection, then you can just connect directly. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do this now. Let's go ahead and go into my photo gallery here and I'll, play, I'll show you a photo and play some videos as well. Let me go ahead and tap on this and we can see this photo right here. This is a live focus from my Samsung Galaxy Note 9 as well. Let me go ahead and zoom in here. I gotta admit, the picture quality is pretty freaking good, guys. And now let me go ahead and put it on a video. How about this video here with the peacock? And I'm gonna press on volume or press play. I just found a peacock here walking by me. Now take note. Go ahead and try to get a. This volume is coming directly from the TV, not from the phone. Everything is in sync perfectly. Okay, so let me go ahead and view a web page here for you. So tap on uh, internet browser here and you can kind of see what's going on here. And now for the exciting part, let's go ahead and play a game here. I'm going to go ahead and play uh, PUBG. I have to admit I've been addicted to this game for the past like several weeks now. But let's see here. Okay, so I'm in the airplane now, and you can see there's a split second delay. We can kind of see. So there, there's definitely a split second delay. The only thing I would recommend is uh, not to play the game using a big screen. You want to go ahead and play the game so other people can view you as you're watching, okay, on the big screen. Okay, so there's definitely like a lag here I can notice. But again, this game is graphic intensive. Also, when I fire a shot, watch this, ready? Okay, let me do that again, ready? So you're seeing me fire here, then it shows up here. Now this, the sound in the picture is synced to the TV, not to my actual phone. However, if I play another game that's less graphic intensive, of course it's gonna be less delay. Also, when I'm playing uh, YouTube videos and stuff like that through my phone onto here or watching videos uh, from my phone that's stored locally, Everything's in sync perfectly with the TV, okay? Okay, so you can definitely see a lag here. Now watch this. Now again, this game is very, very, very graphic intensive. Let me go ahead and fire a shot. Ready? Look at, look at my smartphone then the TV. You see that? So as soon as I fire it here, then it'll show on here. Now the thing is, the uh, picture and the sound 
It is all synced. Oh shoot, somebody's shooting me. It is all synced. Hold on, hold on. Got him. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and play another game that's less graphic intensive. How about this uh, traffic rider game here? All right, so now you can still see a lag, but it's like less of a lag now, because again, this phone or this game is not so graphic intensive. Let me go ahead and try that again. Make sure you look at, make sure you look at both screens, the phone and the TV here. You can see as I turn here, let me, Okay, you guys pretty much got the message there. Anyways, there you guys go. That is how you screen mirror a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and then Note 9 directly to your Samsung Smart TV. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.